25th January 2016, the fifth anniversary of the Egyptian Revolution of 2011. An Italian student called Giulio Regeni disappeared on that day from his apartment in Cairo. His mutilated and half-naked body was found on the 3rd of February 2016 in a ditch alongside the Cairo-Alexandria Highway. It's been almost four years since then, and the reasons and circumstances of his disappearance are still uncertain. Truth for Giulio Regeni! Behind the sun is a phrase that would make anybody who lives outside the Egyptian territories wonder what such a phrase does mean. Non-Egyptians would wonder what meanings it holds between its letters. By contrast, this phrase holds terror for Egyptians, the most terrifying form of it. The ominous phrase came to light during the authoritarian era of President Gamal Abdel Nasir. It referred to the act of detaining people illegally, followed by the denial of arresting them, and thus not informing their family and their lawyers about the place of their detention. Rida Helal, a journalist who criticized Mubarak, was a victim of forced disappearance in August 2003. This was the first case where the term forced disappearance was used. However, Helal's fate remains unknown to this very day, and investigation about his disappearance closed in 2014. Even though Abdel Nasser lies in his grave now and Mubarak resigned forcibly due to the protests of the 25th of January, don't worry about him. He probably plays golf with his two sons in his mansion at the moment. The state of forced disappearance has not changed a lot. Actually, in practice, it did change a lot. It became much darker than ever since the military coup that took place seven years ago. Despite our familiarity with that phrase and all this top it stands for, we are still quite unfamiliar with the term forced disappearances. And so is the Egyptian law. These terms neither doesn't exist in our constitution nor in the minds of the majority as a crime, which facilitates practicing the hideous crime for the watchdogs of the police. In one of the most dark comedy practices ever, the government was quite successful in demonizing the term and forcing people to believe that this was a term created by the Muslim Brotherhood and their lip turtle lies. In order to destroy Egypt's incredible reputation of protecting human rights using Qatari and Turkish generous funding. Unfortunately, a great portion of the public responded positively to this, thanks to pro-government media outlets filling our people's minds with propaganda. People are afraid to like that Facebook post protesting against the current policies of the government, or retweet that political activist tweet concerning a case of forced disappearance, or even talk in public transport about the soaring prices. Such bold acts might result in them ending up in the inferno of Egyptian prisons, left to die in those inhuman glaciers where not a single kind soul knows where they are. The Egyptian authorities are not interested if it's just a mere Egyptian civilian or a Cambridge student holding an Italian passport. Nobody is safe. We want the truth for Julian and Jenny and for every single missing person in the world. Iraq has been the center of geopolitical tension for the past four decades. Conflicts have deteriorated the security situation, which have led Iraq with one of the highest number of missing people, 7,663 to be exact, of record for enforced disappearances just, just between 2017 and 2019, and maybe more, who knows. These are not numbers or neither statistics. These are people whose life has been taken away. These are family was beloved were snatched away from them. The main reasons behind forced disappearances are political, religious, tribal or familiar identity. The consequences for the families are emotional suffering and economic hardship and families struggle seeking for the truth. Iraqi families have suffered tens of thousands of missing people in the past few years alone. We stand here today in solidarity for Giulio, for all the Iraqi families and any other family in the world. For us, Giulio is important. The college is full of small signs that Giulio left with his passage, like this book. There is a dedication from him inside, like here to the college and the people from his city. Sometimes you walk around these roads and you just wonder how many times he's walked those same roads. We don't we want that. Today we're going to read a message that some Egyptians in our school wanted to share but did not feel safe to do so. Today, the 25th of January, 
is the ninth anniversary of the Egyptian Revolution and the fourth anniversary of the brutal murder of Giulio Reggiani. It's a significant moment to raise the voices of the Egyptians who cannot speak up due to the current authoritarian system. Many Egyptians political activists have disappeared, been jailed and shut down by the government. Recently our rights to speak have been getting worse and the status of freedom of speech is now the worst in Egyptian history. Egyptians do not feel safe anymore in their own country. None can express themselves without fear of consequences. We hope next year, at this time, the situation will be different and better, with less people suffering and better life standards. Verità per Giulio Reggiani. Each Thursday, one of Argentina's most famous public square fills with women wearing white scarves and hold signs covered with names. They are the mothers and grandmothers of the Plaza de Mayo, and they are there to bring attention to something that threw their lives into tragedy during the 1970s the kidnapping of their children and grandchildren by Argentina's brutal military dictatorship. Various military dictatorships took place in the southern corner of South America. This was all part of a campaign called Operation Condor, sponsored by the United States. This was all produced by the spreading of the communist ideology in various of these countries. By disappearing them and disposing of their bodies, the junta could pretend they never existed. But the family members and friends of the disappeared knew they had existed. The junta turned against Argentina citizens, taking away people who they suspe uh, suspected of being aligned with the leftists, socialists or social justice causes, and incarcerating, torturing and murdering them. This is how 30,000 Argentines went missing. We call them the desaparecidos, the missing. The government has made no effort to identify or document these missing people. That is why they exist. That is why they fight. For Mexicans, people going missing without explanation is nothing new. They often disappear for long periods of time without being investigated. For example, it was only recently on January 15, 2020, that the Mexican government formed the Truth and Justice Commission to look at 43 students from Ayonitzapa Teachers College who disappeared in Igual Guerrero in 2014. While the bodies of the students were not found, the police exhumed 39 bodies and after further investigation, exhumed another 121 bodies, bringing the total number of Mexicans discovered in clandestine graves to 160 bodies. Furthermore, according to the National Human Rights Commission, 3,900 bodies have been discovered in 17 states since 2007. All this counts towards highlighting how serious the problem of missing persons is in Mexico. The problem is exacerbated by the lack of public infrastructure that makes it possible to identify exhumed corpses. There are also cases of mishandling information and failure of morgue officials to carry out DNA tests carrying out abductions, all of which have brought up to the tally of unidentified corpses in Mexico to 26,000, and the number of missing people up to 37,000. This failure on the part of the Mexican government has resulted in psychological and emotional trauma on families all over Mexico. In the last decade, nearly 100,000 people have disappeared in Syria due to certain operations conducted by the state's government during the ongoing eight-year war. These enforced disappearances are defined by the UN as the arrest, detention, or abduction of persons by a political organization or state. The situation is not improving, and without any intervention, more people are likely to be tortured and executed. There are no Syrian families which haven't been affected by the forced disappearance. Families have lost their loved ones and do not know where they've been taken or what condition they're in. This should not be ignored, and attention must be paid. We, as students, urge the international community to support the suffering families need for truth, the people's demand for justice, and call for the immediate release of all those held by force and violence. We are the students of UWCSEA, and we believe in humanity. Verità per Giulio Regeni. Truth for Giulio Regeni. Truth for everyone. Enforced disappearances persist in many countries all over the world and violate a wide range of human rights. In Colombia especially, there is a tremendous impunity for enforced disappearances and violators continue to evade justice. Forced disappearances happen because of internal conflict as a way to repress people politically and socially. There are more than 83,000 victims of forced disappearances 
and 26,000 unidentified bodies. As a Colombian, I feel strongly about this issue, and we, as citizens, demand the guaranteeing of the safety for the activists, who, because of their fieldwork in rural areas, are constantly threatened and killed. We hope that the government and the international community support us to keep moving forward. Enforced disappearances are a crime under inter international law, and the prolonged impunity and violence needs to stop now in Colombia. Verità per Giulio Regeni. Hi, I'm from Pakistan. A lot of enforced disappearances took place from 1999 to 2008 due to the Afghanistan war. A lot of civilians, along with the migrants, were suspected of being involved in skeptical activities. In 2017, five major social media journalists of Pakistan were abducted and released after a few weeks, just because they were vocal about their beliefs and progressive bloggers. Being accused of blasphemy and pacifism, they had to seek asylum in different countries or lay low in their own. Last year alone, 150 enforced disappearances took place in Pakistan. Enforced disappearances have a huge impact on the victim as well as on their families. A 24-year journalist in Pakistan was abducted and remained missing for five years, during which her brother committed suicide. Enforced disappearances is a pressing matter which needs to be addressed immediately. Truth for Julia Rajani. <laughs> Half of the Bahrain for Giulio Regeni. Al Hakikari Giulio Regeni. Sotokia Giulio Regeni. Giulio Regeni Colaginel. Lialos by Giulio Regeni. Sereme Giulio Regeni. Lialotamino Sergio Yokio Suru. Spravidivas to Giulio Regeni. Verita per Giulio Regeni.